Hello everyone, I'm Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. So for the very first time, I actually put out a poll in my community section of my YouTube channel and asked you guys to vote for today's video. And of course, of all the videos that I posted in the options, you chose the guild video. And since I do have a list of items that I could not put in my top 5 video, I decided to do another top 10 items to sell in patch 5.1 to make some gill. Alright, so basically all these items have in common is that they are all used in some way, shape, or form in end game items. Since patch 5.2 was not coming out until mid February, we have about two months left before the patch drops, so all these items are still going to be relevant for the next two months. Alright, so there's a mixture of crafting and gathering materials on this list. So we're going to first start off with the berry ore. These are to make the alumina whetstones. These are a minor item. As always, as a, as a disclaimer, make sure that you do your research on your marker board. For the love of God, do your research, please, before selling anything. I already had someone come to me complaining that people do not do their research before undercutting anything. So we only got 60 hits on my server, Gilgamesh, which unfortunately is not much. Um, other servers will probably have different amounts. But the sales history shows that they have been selling for the past two days. It's still early in the morning for me, so still they have been selling quite well this morning. Uh, yesterday, I checked them yesterday, it was all the 15th and some of the 14th. But as you can see, high quality and normal quality seems to be selling quite well. Uh, it's up to you which one you want to go for. I definitely would go for normal quality since those are a little bit easier to get. But since we are guaranteed high quality materials, there's no need, reason not to sell both. Okay. So on our server, they kind of reach from 14 all the way up to 2200. Not bad. Alright. Next is the sandal wood sap. Or the sandal sap. I believe these are for the alchemist. Yep. The uh, glass fibers. It's going to be a botanist item. So sandalwood sap, uh, we got a lot more hits on this one. All right. So uh, sales history shows they've been all over the place the past three days. Uh, normal quality seems to be over high quality, and they kind of range from 2,200 all the way up to I would say 35 to 4,000, which is not bad. These are for to make the crafting gear and the body set. Right. Next is going to be an old material, but is the Dwarven Ingots. One thing with the endgame recipes that they do contain a lot of common items. It's mostly for battle gear. Here's the ingots. So 20 hits on our server, as you can see here, they're pretty expensive so far. They have sold great this morning and of course yesterday as well since I did check it yesterday and normal quality seems over high quality and they can range from 3,000 all the way up to I want to say 4,000 I don't really know what they were before this so yeah pretty damn good next is the dwarven cotton now we know that the dwarven cotton has been easier to make since the Yarns can make three per synthesis now. The cottons are not that hard to make anymore. And as you can see here, our server has been very low on this. And yeah, they haven't been selling all this morning because like I said, there's not too many in the market board so they won't reflect, but past three days, they have been flying off the shelves. So I see they're going as low as 1950, but as high as 13,000 for high quality. But yeah, since these are easier to make, they will sell quite well. 
All right, next is going to be the sandalwood logs. Now, with this is the thing with this is that they are the same note as the sap. So, again, it's up to you which one you want to go for. So we only had 10 hits on our server, and they have sold a lot this morning, or early in the morning, and also the past two days, because I did check this yesterday. Uh, they can range from as low as a thousand, I don't know why, to possibly up to, I uh, probably would say around 3,000 if they're high quality. But it all depends what is available to you. Again, this is of course for Carpenter. If we take a look. We have the Dragoon Bard weapons, Black Mage and Conjurer weapons, or White Mage weapons. So they have the uses, as well as the Goldsmith, Weaver, and Fisher recipes. I also believe they're in Gold to Blacksmith as well. Nope. Okay. So just Carpenter then. So, either the saps or the logs, depending on which one is um, more expensive, you can go that, or you can, or you can basically trade off one time do one and another time do the other. Or you can just collect both in the same node. It's up to you. Next is going to be stone gold nuggets and then stone gold ingots. These are also in endgame recipes. Alright, so first we'll start with the nuggets. Alright, so this is what you call bad undercutting right here. But if you can go down this list here, you can see how how well they were prices where they went downhill and so on, so. These people have no idea what they're doing, which is very upsetting. But as you can see here, they do sell quite well. In the past uh, two days, I got like again as I checked this yesterday, so they do sell all day. These are low-level uh, recipe items, so I'm not surprised that they are low. But they do range from, I would say, 750 all the way up to 2,000 and above for high quality. And now the ingots, which is a hell of a lot more, but they're a little bit higher priced. And they can, they have been selling pretty decently. Uh, mostly been by one person yesterday, but I think he bought all the cheap ones. Because there were a bunch cheaper down, down the uh, down the list here, but they were overwritten by new ones. But he, I'm guessing he bought all the old ones and then resold them for higher amounts. But definitely uh, normal quality over high quality, of course. And so they can range from 2,000 other up to 10,000, depending how much or how little they are on the market board. Again, this is another low-level recipe item, so low-level people can bank off these as well. Next is going to be an all-time favorite, Onyx. These are going to be the crafted Onyx, not the raw Onyx. I had, a, I, had a, I wanted to keep this list down to 10 items, so I had to choose between raw or regular made Onyx, so I went with the latter. And as you can see here, I bet's probably why I went with this one, because it was more expensive. We only have 11 hits on our server. Again, as you can see here, the haven't been selling too great today because it's still early, but again, over the weekend it was doing quite well. Again, these are for weapons. All the weapons need onyx, well, some of them need onyx, some of them don't. These tool, these weapons are still relevant since they upgrade to 460 and we don't begin anything new until 5.2. These are still relevant for now. So, Keep that in mind. So they can range from, I'll say, low as 9,000 to 15,000 for high quality. I love that name right there, Pepsi Sugar Free. <laughs> so yeah, Onyx is definitely one of those items that it's an end game item, so they, they will of course sell quite well. All right, and now going to two crafted end game recipes. They're going to be for Culinarian. It's the Papoto Salad and the Robe Salad. 
since people are still doing ultimate and still doing savage, food will become quite useful. Hope I spelled that right. Alright, so we go with the Popoto Salad, which has crit, skill speed, and vitality. And this high quality version. So, one hit on our server wall. We actually had a lot more than this yesterday. But as you can see here, wow, 99 sold all this morning. Yeah, so if you guys want to sell this, sell it at 99. Alright, so, um, yeah, only high quality, obviously. So they can grain from, I want to say, 2800 to, I want to say, as high as you possibly can, possibly can go. If you have nothing on your server, just go gangbusters. I probably, I, if it was my own opinion, I probably would go for like around 5,000. Alright, because if people are buying at stacks of 99, you don't want to put them too high up because people want to buy them. So, at stacks of 99, around 5,000 or th maybe 3,000. But uh, don't go too high. Alright. Especially if people are buying them for a rating. And next one is, and last one is going to be the rope salad. This is the tenth item on the list. The robe salad is determination and crit with vitality, and there's the high quality version. So we have 28 hits on our server, but still high priced. Uh, 99 seems to be still dominant over everything else, but up to you guys what you want to sell them at. Food is food. Uh, definitely been selling great for the past two days, so. If you're selling them normal quality, which you really shouldn't, um, just don't bother doing that. Still sell them high quality. So on our server, they can definitely range from, let's run that up to 4,000 and possibly up to 8,000, depending what's available. If some people don't want 99, um, sell them lower stacks, but check up the price. All right. Because if there's nothing but 99, people are going to be take whatever they can if they want, if they want less. So, low stacks, check up the price. Alright, so, again, 4,000 and above. Alright, so again, if any of these items on your server crash for any reason, don't blame me, blame the idiots that don't know how to undercut. Alright guys, so again, do your research. Not my problem if people don't want to heed my advice. If they bomb a price, that's not my fault. Buy them out, resell them, or use them yourself. What can I say? I can't control people. If I could, I would. But yeah, that's going to be it from uh, this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, except you ruin my market, please put them in the comment section down below. I've been more than happy to answer any of your guys' questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. And follow me on all my social media at Zane Lionheart on Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, remember forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys. Happy selling. And don't crash any markets.